Okay, series and parallel circuits. This is a companion section to my level two auto mechanics in the electrical section. Usually by about this time, I've been working with the level ones and dealing with them, giving them the song and dance for ignition system. Uh, pickle theory is a good video you want to check out, and that's going to be up here. Check out pickle theory, that helps you. <clears throat> Excuse me. What I want to talk about for you guys is series and parallel. And one of the ways I introduce this is to talk about stereos and subwoofers and having some decent tunes. Most speakers, most subwoofers are 4 ohms. That's how much resistance they are. Anything that takes electricity and uses it and turns it into something like light or motion or sound or heat or whatever, it's going to resist the electricity and take that moving electricity and turn it into something. Uh, and so they have resistance. On the screen, this uh, crazy software that I found at phet.colorado.edu <clears throat> is a pretty cool looking build it on the screen kind of electrical thing. You can hook up like light bulbs and you can hook up wires to it. Whoops, that didn't work. Oh, I can cut. Nice. So I can hook up wires to it and I can make this thing do its thing, and it lights up, and it's like, oh, that's awesome. So this is pretty fun. I've set up a couple circuits in here. The main kind of difference is series and parallel. So the one you see on the bottom, this guy right here, is a series circuit, because one resistor after the other resistor after another resistor, kind of like a TV series. Um, it's one after the other, or a series of unfortunate events, it's one after the other, or a serial killer, but I probably shouldn't go there, it's one after the other. So with this, I can take a wire, I can hook it up to the battery, I can take another wire, and I'm just going to bypass all of this stuff over here, <clears throat> and this is kind of fun. I connect it, and now electricity is moving. Now we're doing electron theory, where electrons are free in the valence shell of the atom, and you can brush them off or encourage them to go, and they travel from the negatives over to the positive. You can think uh, conventional theory where positives move and go the other way if you want. You can think hole theory. You can think smoke theory. I don't care. What matters is that we have electricity moving however you want to interpret it in your flat Earth world. So electricity is traveling through here. <clears throat> this guy is set up to be, right now, 9 volts uh, coming out of the that battery just because that's what it was set to be, and that's fine. And if I put the resistance here, all of these resistors should be using all 9 of the volts, which is kind of cool. So now the current, that's how fast the electrons move. If I loop that around the wire, this says 1.12 amps. Remember that because I can't put it on the screen. No, I don't have another one. So remember that, 1.12 amps. You can do math, they cover that in physics as well. That's series. This is like a kink in the garden hose. If I got a garden hose with water flowing and I go and I kink the garden hose, it slows down the flow of, like, of, of water. It does not matter where I kink the hose, whether it's at the tap or if it's at the sprayer, any kink slows everything down. <clears throat> in this case, I got two kinks, hooray. If this was uh, speakers or for two subwoofers on your car, I would have um, heater resistance. Sorry, I'm looking at, I need a, a measuring thing. <clears throat> Interesting. Okay, um, where was I? Can't remember. All right, so... Uh, this has got two little kinks. Oh, speakers. So you can have two speakers in series with each other, and it's going to slow down the electricity twice, which is going to be okay. Amplifiers don't always like uh, high speed, and it draws a lot of current, and things can get fairly hot. So if you put them in series, it double slows it down, and amplifiers like that. The volume's going to be less. Let's look at this circuit at the top. This is parallel, kind of like two parallel lines. These are two resistors wired up in parallel. So let us disconnect that guy <clears throat> and let us dis... no, let's snip it. Uh, that's right, we're going to put that on there and then we're going to hook up a wire that goes into here and goes into the... Uh, look at how much faster this electricity is flowing. It's still going to be 9 volts on the battery, or at least should be still has 9 volts. If I take the current, this thing should be a lot faster. It's 4.5 amps. <clears throat> so we've actually quadrupled the speed of the electricity. 
if these are two 4 ohm subwoofers, the power is going through it. If I wire them in parallel, look at how fast the electricity is going. It's kind of like um, it's kind of like this. If we disconnect this for a minute, <clears throat> for this circuit on the bottom, this is like kind of having two big bruiser guys in a hallway that you got to get past. But you got to get past one, and then you got to get past the other before you can get to your PE class. And this is just going to take a longer time. Here, this one, the above circuit, this is like trying to get through a hallway full of people. And it's packed and you can't get through, but you know going through the hallways that there's like holes between people. And when you're in a hurry to get to that PE class, you're not late, you look for the holes and you try to deke your way through the whole crowd. If the, you could like split yourself in the middle so that you're smaller pieces and book through different sections of the hallway and then get back together again, you can get through the crowd faster. And that's what the electricity is doing here. I'm providing two paths of electricity that they can choose from. The electricity comes out of the battery, comes along here, and then splits. Half of it goes through this resistance. And because only half of it has to go through, it goes through faster. <clears throat> So half of it goes through the top resistor, half of it goes through the bottom resistor. It goes quicker, we get more current. That can be pretty cool. <clears throat> now, I'm going to get rid of this, and I'm going to get rid of this, because that doesn't matter right now. Um, some, in, if we talk the car stereo world, you can wire subs in series, you can wire them in parallel. If you're doing off-road lights on the roof of your truck, you can wire them in series, you can wire them in parallel. There might be a reason to do one or the other. There might be a reason to do a combination of. Well, let's look at this in a little bit more of an interesting kind of way. <clears throat> I'm going to ditch some of these wires. Way back in the day, uh, I was big into car stereo, and there was a company that made... Um, uh, car stereo amps that were really uh, intended for competition and and they in if you do stereo competitions you would run into categories some of you guys might do dirt bike racing and you can be like the up to 250 cc category or whatever so whatever the the size of your motor is everybody has to have the same kind of motor well um what this guy, what this company would do is they would make an amp that was like good for 100 watts so you could compete in the 100 watt uh, competition category and um, lost my train of thought because I'm counting. That's what I'm doing. <clears throat> so you could compete in the 100, uh, 100 watt category and what they did is they made the amp stable to 4 ohms, produce 100 watts, but it was stable to 2 ohms. And if you, if you lowered the resistance, the electricity sped up, and as long as the amplifier could handle it, it would instead, rated at 100 watts, produce 200 watts. Half the resistance increases the current, doubles the watts. So from a 100 watt amp would now be a 200 watt amp, that could compete in a 100 watt uh, category even though it's producing 200 watts. Cool, that'd be like racing your buddy who has a 100cc dirt bike and you've got a 200cc dirt bike. It's going to be in your favor. Except um, <clears throat> you could actually run the amps into a uh, 1 ohm stable. So right now these two 4 ohm resistors in parallel act like a 2 ohm. If I take these two 4 ohm resistors they're going to act like a 2 ohm, but you join a 2 ohm with a 2 ohm and it's going to act like a 1 ohm. It's like reduces the resistance because I have more paths. I'm splitting my body up into four pieces to get through the hallway and things go quicker. So now these guys would uh, hook up the stereo and it would go like so. And the electricity, I guess I want the ammeter, the electricity is going even faster because it's splitting into the four resistors. Well, let's check the current on here. Oh my gosh, 9 amps. We've just doubled the current that we had before. And if this amplifier was producing 100 watts into 4 ohms, 200 watts into 2 ohms, we're now producing 400 watts into 1 ohm. So you're competing with a 400 watt amplifier in a 100 watt class. Cool. Cool thing with the voltage. Check this out. While I said the electricity um, splits, 
all nine volts is going through this resistor and all nine volts are going through that resistor and all nine volts are going through this resistor it's the current the electrons that flit that that split up the push is still the same but the they split up and move faster and current is your speed voltage is your push now that same amplifier was stable down to half an amp 0.5 of an amp so that's like act, acting another um, four more resistors <clears throat> so uh, these two four ohms acting as two these two four ohms acting as two acting together now as one if I do the same thing over here I'd have another set of four acting as one ohm join them together eight of these resistors eight subwoofers eight off-road lights Oh my gosh, watch, let's get the current, let's get that, that's just so sweet. Let's hook this up and watch what the current does as I hook up more uh, wires. So we've got four in parallel, and now I've got five in parallel, 11 and a quarter amps. Let's do six in parallel. This stuff is speeding up pretty quick, man. It's going to be awesome. Now we've got 13 and a half amps. That's over like 13 times the current that we started with. Um, as long as, oh, we've, we've hit unhappiness. The battery has not liked that at all. <clears throat> but I'm going to keep going because I'm a boss. And so now we're like almost 18 amps of electricity through a half ohm resistance the amplifier has burst into flames. There was probably a blinding flash of light, and we probably need to coast our vehicle off to the side of the road and maybe wish we had BCAA. So we can add in parallel, really increases the current up to the point that you melt something. You probably want something in that circuit, like a fuse. Uh, we can put a dog in the circuit. That's cool. Well, that's, I did not know that. Now I'm curious. What happens if we hook a dog up to the circuit? Nothing. There you go, kids. You cannot hook a dog up to the circuit. It, your, your stereo will stop working. Kind of cool. So series, parallel, and resistance drops as it goes in parallel, and it adds as we go in series. In your worksheet, I ask you to draw two 4-ohm subwoofers in parallel however you would do that. I ask you to draw two 4 ohm subwoofers in series, however you do that. And those four would act as 2 ohms or 8 ohms, depending how you wire them. Uh, then I ask you to draw some kind of combination so I can hook up four 4 ohm resistors, but have them all add up to 4 ohms. So think through series, parallel, However, you're going to hook them up. How could you do a combination of a couple in series and a couple in parallel and make it add up to four ohms so the amplifier doesn't burst into flames? That's where we're going with that. And don't hook up electricity to the puppy dogs. Um, animal rights activists will set you on fire.